One should always be brave in one's own terms and not anyone else's. At last, I'm beginning to tell the story. My name is Adrian. Her writings brought her fame. She blew smoke into James Dean's face. She's one of the most famous women in the world. Her films made her infamous. You took people who were reading books and took them away from books and into theaters. But behind the life of Adrienne Mark, there is a secret she has never told. Every month I have the same dream. It's my 11th birthday party. My mother is trying to say something to me, and I cannot make out what she's saying. One of the little girls at the party said to me, I could have saved my mother. Now, she will leave everything she has. Take it, Millie, in remembrance of me. People, Adrienne, are prisoners of their memories. To find peace with the memories she had left behind. You'll be fine, Miss Adrian. In America, Millie, you give me light. If ever you come to Paris, look me up at 21 Rue de Verneuil. That's the house where I grew up. It's going up at auction, and I'm going to buy it. My God, you look marvelous. Oh, I've heard strange things since I'm in Paris. You wouldn't believe the changes in America. Things have changed yours well, you know. I used to stand here as a child, inventing stories. I love this place. It's very cocteau. It sure doesn't happen to be very cocteau. I saw something. What? I'm not completely sure. How pathetic. Thinking I could trade in the past 50 years of my life for the first 10. I'm sure there must be something worth salvaging from those 50 years. Merchant Ivory presents a story of changing times, constant friendships, and reconciling with the past. Life is nothing but change, and yet nothing I could keep I've kept. It appalls me to think about what I had to let go of. Jean Moreau, Sean Young, Sam Waterston, Nell Carter, Christopher Kazanov, Marc Tissot, Jean-Pierre Amont, Josh Hamilton, and Charlotte de Turkheim. The Proprietor. <laughs>